Mixing the relative volumes of tracks within an audio file is one of the most important aspects of audio mixing. Audio Director now has an enhanced mixer panel. The mixer panel's recording function provides real-time manual adjustment of track volume during playback in order to get the exact mix you want faster and easier. Let's say we have a video project that needs a dramatic audio lead-in to an action scene. Our project contains three tracks. A woman's voice singing. La, 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 la. Some dramatic music. And the sound of rainfall. We want the rainfall track to start silent, build to a crescendo at the middle of our clip, and then fade back to silence at the end. We can do this easily with keyframes on the Edit Track screen. Now let's go back to the Mix screen and click the Mixer Panel icon located at the top right above the timeline. This will open the Mixer Panel. Just under the title are three buttons where you can set the audio track mode. Let's first set them all to P, which stands for Play. Now as we play all three tracks, we can see how the control knob for the rainfall track moves up and down according to the volume adjustments we made. If there were any panning adjustments in this track, this panning button would move right and left to display them. But we can also adjust the volume of any track here on the mixer panel as it plays. In this case, we will adjust the volume of the track Katie Sings to get more emphasis on certain sections of the vocals. Set the audio track mode for the first track to R for record because that is the track we will modify. We'll set the second and third tracks to I for idle, so they will not be changed for now. Now we click play, and then use the volume control knob to adjust the first track. Emphasizing the vocal highlights this way is straightforward and precise. When we are finished, we can set all track modes to play, and watch the volume sliders for tracks 1 and 3 move up and down to show the volume adjustments. We can also go back to the track edit screen for track 1 and see that our adjustment is represented here by an extensive set of keyframes throughout the track. So we can see why using the mixer panel can be simpler and faster in many cases.